Good morning, everyone. Well, we knew this was possible. And we all saw the writing on the on the charts there. But uh, markets held up and uh, news is out. Bubbles are bursting. As far as, you know, rate cuts, we'll see what uh, the Fed comes out and says about all of this. But, you know, inflation getting a little worse. I mean, we saw it. We saw it. I mean, we can review this real quick on the charts, but for those that um, weren't here at the time, but inflation, inflation, of course, uh, where is it? Oil going up as it was, not a good sign. Uh, Gasoline, you know, ri rising. Obviously, gold, you know, moving up as much as much as it did. But you know, markets. You know, what, what's the saying? Markets can stay irrational longer than you can stay solvent. So you can't fight it, even when this is uh, right there. But now, you know, the news came out that all we're waiting for, they get it, and. Uh, you know, I'm not sure where this is right now. I don't know why this is not updating, or is it way up here? I don't know. This usually updates, but uh, look, you can see. You, know, you can see what the bond market is doing, basically crashing. So you know, yields yields are, are rocking. There's the the ten year. You can see just push down to make a new low. So uh, interest rates go up, bonds go down. Interest rates go up, cost of borrowing money goes up. Whatever mortgages, so on and so forth. None of that is good. So now, what are they going to do? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what they're going to say. You know, but uh, I guess we all hope it's not going to be a replay of the seventies. Pain continuing. But, uh, okay, so S and P's so far holding the fifty MA major support. It's down a whole heck of a lot. Odds are it continues to stabilize here. If it can't pop up further than what it did uh, from the from this area, you know, I might it. I would imagine it might poke down below the fifty momentarily but you know there'll probably be some new more news coming i don't know what else. let me see as far as news that's reported to come out um today 10 o'clock there's some oils oil news and wholesale inventories nothing's going to save the day so it's, it's basically technically and then things will calm down uh some fed goose Gould B is speaking at ten at twelve forty five. Is a ten net? It'll be interesting. The ten year uh, note auction should be interesting, and then the FOMC minutes at two o'clock. Yeah, and uh, but at, at this point, you would figure there's look. There was already an attempt at a technical bounce right off of the support. It didn't get very far. The retest will will be the higher probability setup. So we shouldn't think that this. As far as day trading goes, we can't have an opinion that this can't bounce because it certainly can, just from a technical point of view. So, um, anyway, another wide range bar, wide range bar down. You know, it popped up and, and would add an insult to entry at the end of the day. You know, as, as things rallied, let's look at the spiders for a moment. Because it was grinding down. I know you can see it on the 15 minute, but... Uh, yeah, it was it was grinding down here, and you know it came into the area of that low. And then I th I think some news came out. I think somebody in the green room posted that there's some news came out, and it just ripped higher. You know, so shorts looking for it to come to the low of the day, which made sense. You know, you know, and then it, it closes with this bottoming tail bar, and then then the news is what it is. It's down here. 
it's going to gap down below the wide range bar. <clears throat> and I marked it on the S&Ps. There's a little bitty unfilled gap right here. So keep an eye on this 510 area. You know, if it continues to move lower, you know, we'll see what that, that closes, 510 and change. You know, and this support level, the pivot is down there. The 50 MA is down there. So maybe it eventually gets there. It's a little, that's quite a ways away, you know. I mean, not dollar wise, but as far as price is moving that much further from yesterday's close, that that is a big run. But if it gets down there, based on technicals, I have to believe it's gonna it's gonna try and bounce. I don't know, you know, come back in here. You know, we'll see. So we always look to the left. Where is there an unfilled gap? Where is there major support? Where is minor support? Where is a moving average? Is the moving average in alignment with the pivot or support? That adds to the potency of that area, plain and simple. So eventually it'll get down here. It is what it is, but this is this in this area is where everyone will look to add, to buy and see what happens from there. I mean, here's the void risk, you know, and, and you know as we get into next week and more news and earnings and so on and so forth, you know this will be where the risk is for a larger move if that's in the cards. But being aware of what's down below and up above is what we do. And Q's on this support area here, they're down below the 50. So relative weakness, it's been going sideways for a while. It has a whole lot of overhead supply now. Right? So this was wide and whippy, which is indicative of a topping pattern, but it could have turned up. We've seen that. But now as it's breaking down, and we looked, look, just we looked to the next area down down below, plain and simple. And so we'll see how how this holds or or the lack thereof, whether we get a one, two, three. And you can see it's on this support over here. So I had an initial bounce. It's doing a retest. And we'll see where it goes. The Dow was the weaker one <clears throat> all along. It's breaking down below the moving averages, below the pivots. And there's essentially little to nothing to the left there. You know what? Let me just throw this on a 180-minute chart so I can just, you know, just eyeball that. And so, again, there's got a little cluster over here and that, and that pivot. And uh, so that would be a downside area to look for stabilization. Russell holding at that pivot. You know, we talked about maybe a head and shoulders. No, it couldn't get up there. It's, it's down, it's below the moving averages. It's on its pivots over here. So we'll see what kind of stabilization materializes or the lack thereof this morning. Um, and again, other things are down. Of course, semiconductors are down. They're, so far, they're holding support. Um, yeah. it, it's going to be, you know, bloody. You look at regional banks. You know, they're they're dropping. Financials, you know, bigger banks, which earnings are coming out. Maybe they save the day. But you know, you've got this topping pattern here now, and it's breaking below the lows. Uh, they'd have to, you know, and and and. and this going up as it has, you got to believe that the earnings are going to be good. So, you know, I don't doubt that's going to be saving the day, you know, to get back above the highs. Um, yeah. Crude oil is, is moving up, you know, not a big deal so far, but, uh, you know, holding up here. So another, another negative yeah. you know, gold is down. It's like, okay, here, here's, you know, buy the rumor, sell the news, I suppose. I mean, event eventually it, it probably goes higher, but right now it's correcting a, a bit. Um, silver's down a little. No, not a big deal. But anyway, it's extended. We, we talked about that yesterday. Bitcoin's down a bit. 
you know, not a big deal consolidating within a wide range here. Um, I don't know why this isn't updating. It says it's not updating, but it's got to be above four and a half percent, give or take. I mean, that's what we were looking for. This overlapping opens and closes here on the weekly chart, you know, coming up into here wasn't going to be a, a good thing. You know, what you can see the way with how bonds have fallen in, in a big way. So there's no doubt about the reaction. Uh, I suspect this will go down. SPX numbers. Let me double check that. Yeah, sure. From what I saw before, and things are popping around here a little bit. Um, so I had 50-50, which I like that number. It's way down here. Um, it's a dollar ten by a dollar twenty right now. You could go below that. It's ninety five by a dollar. So you know prices based on where futures are and SPY are down here. So this is the great thing about SPX. I mean everything's got positives and negatives. When you get a reaction like this, these things like overreact to the moon. So does anybody believe? that the S&P 500 will get down to 50-50 today. You know, when, when right now it is not even through this unfilled gap, it, it isn't below into the 50. It isn't, you know, I mean, it, but people are, people are buying that options. Um, up above, I have had 52.30 up there. And so that probably coming down as, as things came down. 52.30. Yeah. Yeah. So now you've got to go 52.15. Yeah. So, the, you know, these things move fast. And it's going to come down. So the likelihood of getting back up there today is highly unlikely. All right. Um, yeah, what else? I mean, it, it, it is what it is. It's 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 ugly, and it, odds are it's going to get uglier. And now everybody will be hanging their hat on, you know, earnings coming out good, and stocks that don't come out with spectacular earnings will probably get destroyed. That's what happens in a market like this. So um, be careful. All yours, Dan. Good morning. Obviously, we're going to have a ton of beautiful gaps on our shorts where our portfolio is more heavily short in alignment with our bias. Things are playing out. You know, I can never say the word exactly, but playing out very well. Uh, so we've been saying since Monday morning, I expected, I expected, you know, two inside days. Did this, is that tail real? Is that a rally that much? Wow. That doesn't look right. The tail. Right. Yeah, the, 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 the bottom, that, that tail is not that long. It's not, not I'm comparing it to 15. But regardless, <clears throat> our bias was two inside days, and you know we rallied, negate the, the another red bar, but this is the biggest red bar of the year at a minimum. Climb a weekly, so we were putting our money on the downside, and so we're getting that right now. So SMCI, um, we are short this stock on this little right here, this 180 reversal. <clears throat> so we get a nice gap down there. Cyber, we've been short, get a nice gap down, nice. We have one, two, threes. Oh, shoot, I'm sorry, you all. My bad. Greg, you should have audioed me. Um, all right. So I'm answering the question here, so I wasn't paying attention myself. So yeah. Uh, yeah, my screen didn't go through, but I see it now. All right, so um, cyber, 
getting a nice gap down. We're short this and a call screw. <clears throat> SMCI, short stock. An MTOM alarm. We're short this and the ETF trader. Cyber. Um, that's what I just mentioned. <sighs> I, uh, I, I, P, R. I'm getting an ugly gap. We have this as a core long. Under stop under here, so it's an early alarm. Another covered call. I think I'm going to go ahead and set up lower now. Even if we stop out, it's at a profit. Um, Apple, we're short. Now, this one, I'm disappointed that it's not gapping. So, you know, under this entire base, it's holding right here at yesterday's low, which comparatively is relative strength. So we're short that, or I'm sorry, we, we're long puts, and we also have short call spread. Uh, so call spread's going to be in good shape. Um, See here, other positions. W, W, okay, earnings here. We did run right here. I see that I have a, a, a typo in the symbol in the spreadsheet. W, C, F, C. All right, so we shorted the 210 puts as an earnings trade. And and it was only down two bucks last night, which we would have had a huge open profit. So now it's gapping down uh, to 48. Still, still holding this first pivot. So it's it's not a disaster gap at all. Look, look at our two tens. Look, so it's gapping here. So other than the expected stupid spread, at the open, there's going to be stupid spreads everywhere in options. So you just got to, you just got to be patient. Um, so I'm bidding 20 cents, actually. Just throw it out there, see if I get hit. Sold them for a dollar twenty. Uh, Ralph Lauren, we are short. I really can't see a good liquid gap. But I don't see why this would be gapping up. All right, so earnings here on um, Ether, nasty downtrend. Nice, you know, 30 minute low could be a short. Oh, Akamai, we're short too. Short Akamai. All right, so kind of like Apple being a little bit stubborn here. Mm -hmm. Surely, you know, I wish it were gapping under all this whole base. Kit, a little 22 cent robotic stock. SGH 2340, nothing to do. Delta is one of the few green stocks. <laughs> Look, I don't, there's, I don't have much green in here. Now, Vico, this was on my watch list yesterday. But Vico is positive. Um, McGraw gave me this. Remember, McGraw gave me twenty six stocks from from his watch list. I mean, his newsletter people, and I only wrote down two of them, and this was one of them. Vico. All right, so APLD gave up the morning gap, power downtrend. CCK. Was it not earnings? Oh, no. This is nothing. I just found it. That's an old watch list. That's a igniting breakout. It'll be it now. If we can get a one, two, three, this will be a fabulous pattern for tomorrow over the high. Why? Well, because there's an igniting breakout, number one. But number two, any, by definition, expecting a weak close, of course, by uh, um, by definition, any bull one two three continuation patterns at the end of the day are amazingly bullish. 
if that is not crystal clear to you, we can talk about it later. Pro, um, I think this was Sam's list, breakout daily, weekly, monthly. Let's see what how that does. Under, so any, any long on my watch list today? I'm going to be hoping for relative strength. Adco, I think, saying that might have been yours too. Ice says yours. Yeah, I was hoping for one, two, three. Um, but that's going down. PSMT, I think, had earnings. That's a cap breakout. That ain't bad. Let's put that. Let's put that over here. Uh, light volume, but I think that was earnings. So that, that's that's a bullish gap breakout. Um, Verizon, there were some news on these phone companies. Um, remember this thing blasted, now it's a buy setup. I'll support, you know, let's see what it does. In fact, let's set an alarm at 4080. Like it's not that far away. 4080. And then if 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 4080 does go off, then my bias is going to be 30 minute high. Because I'll give more time not only for the stock to stabilize, but then we'll have a better feel of broader markets. All right, so that's that's all I got. So let's just Look at Mister here. This was this was a call spread I've been talking about for a couple of days. Oh, there was this insurance guy on um, from one of the big insurers talking about inflation and insurance products and the delay, you know, because it takes a while to get approval, like a year. Um, but in in one thing, you know, I honestly didn't think about in in this direct obvious sense he's like look you know one you know other than the hurricane you know we know the other obvious stuff he says look inflation is hurting us too because when your car blows up and your house catches on fire then we got to repair with more expensive goods i was like that is so obvious but you know my you know that makes sense but you know my counter to that your stock price surely ain't feeling inflation is it you're sure making money for your stockholders by raising them premiums i i don't like that at all i i i'd rather watch this for a double bottom new low plus it, the, I don't like these just down so much. So th this is this is kind of well, it is down five bucks, but still, it's not. I find much better new short setups that are closer to the resistance than major resistance, you know, congestion, etc. Right, let's just continue. Myrna was on our watch list here, but it's going to take a couple days to. To settle down, this is a bottoming pattern, F fly. So, like I said earlier, let's see how they do with relative strength. All right, Levi going deeper, but it's still a buy setup. H-E-Y-S. Um, let's see what it does. Relative strength. MPC, this was the one McGraw's newsletter people said to buy. They gave a bunch of oils, and I left it on my sheet here as a call spread because they're friggin' toppy. You know, you, you surely don't follow what we teach if you're we're buying oil yesterday. Um, Synap gave it up. That was on my long watch. AMD is a bear. One, two, three, four. Well, one, two, three. Uh, 166. That has room lower. SMH, my low alarm went off. Um, IWM, low alarm went off. These are all call spread ideas, but we're not going to get the premium. 
place something was up with that yesterday on deck was a short idea on forward another bottoming pattern lily was a, a one two three long watch but I, I deleted it yesterday um auto desk my alarm went off um i would i would see alex i'd rather short i really can't tell where it's opening but let's say we're gapping you know 245 then I, I'd rather short this as a 30 minute low, just tighter, closer to resistance. No pop a hotel, nothing. OHI is say one, two, three. I'm gonna set an alarm at 3190. Interest rate sensitive, and then it would have to recover to be of interest to us. Oh yeah, I was like typed in the green room earlier with yields ripping. I am shocked the futures market is still pricing in 33%, 31% chance of a rate cutting June. And then Rick Centelli, I, I always liked him. He's a little firecracker. I mean, he was saying what Greg and I have been preaching for friggin' months. It's like He's like, the government officials have just got their friggin' head in the sand by ignoring inflection. And now it's right here in their friggin' face. And you can't ignore it anymore. You know, I say it's Fort Lauderdale has beautiful blue skies right now. And they're like, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. I mean. And aren't those the same officials that say the border is under control and exactly. sealed? Exactly right. Because it's just look at you with a straight face and we'll say just they say things that are not based in reality right and then a polite way of you know saying you're a liar uh, so these you know this this could turn into a put spread if you want to set an alarm 458 uh sam jbt alarm I know that one was yours. So one, uh, this would be a good thirty-minute low day trade. FTV alarm. There, there's a nice igniting gap lower. Your stop has to be yesterday's high, of course. There's a nice gap breakdown. This PSMT, it's light volume. There's I'm not doing anything with Delta. Let's um, let's let's put FTV there. All right, SMCI, I moved, oh, shoot, I thought the cap down was bigger. Well, it was. It was 860. The thing's friggin' rallied. The thing rallied $20 <laughs> from the pre-market low. You know what? I said 30-minute high, but I'm also going to move it over here. 894.22. On the desk. Just, you know, I don't want this stupid thing to rally for some stupid reason. Yeah, that, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it that low in a long time. JBL gap, a lot of things are gapping, but this gapped under like four bars rounding near resistance right now. See if it rolls over. Could be a call spread, Dan. Uh, all right, I'll look, but I got a tensing trade on opens right now. Okay. Um. Um, all right, cyber. A cyber 30 minute low looks fantastic to add. 
that that's another cliffhanger now based on this gap. So please don't rally. Millennium, if you're, I think that stopped out yesterday. Um, our W whiskey. Uh, we still have a half lot of a put spread. So let's we'll give that a little time. This PSMT bottom right we kind of gave up the gap, so no interest. Oh, that's WDFC, I forgot about. Ah, the 20 cents um, is me. So, but it, but, you know, you could get out um, if you want to pay the offer at 65. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm high bid, but obviously not getting film because of the spread expected spreads. Bill, awesome, awesome. Do you remember um, the A team? Do you remember that show to 18 in the, uh, yeah, but I'm thinking of the one that was the ringleader or who, I think it was the ringleader guy. Face. Yeah. Isn't he the one that would say, I love it. Exactly. Look, John Israel knows where I'm going with this. Exactly. So the, this, this did exactly, it just plan came together. Perfect. Oh, perfect. We're out of that. I'm protecting gains on shorts. All right, Apple, come on, you dog. Drop. You know you the pattern wants to drop. But that's a Wall Street favorite, so it's being stubborn. And Akamai's holding up too. Yeah, I'm gonna gap down, but you know, not much. Yeah. Oh, set a new alarm at 107.50. A uh, crowd, uh, crowd gap down and filled the gap. That's relative strength. But if it takes the low out, man, look at SMCI stopped out. All right, so we stopped out at a profit, but that's see, it, it. So here's another one where my plan came. I moved the stop over this pre-market red bar. And I said, I, you know, I didn't want it to do anything stupid and give up our gains. And it did do something stupid. The conductors are moving up. Yeah. They don't look, daily chart doesn't look very good, but I mean, it's being bought. MRBL is green. And that SIMO just turned green when you mentioned about a week ago. Uh, which one? SIMO? SIMO. SIMO, yeah. I didn't look at the chart, but it's. Green on my screen. 
Yeah, decaths, yeah, relative weakness. You know, the gap's far away, so I wouldn't, you know, be that piggish, but yeah, looks that's relative weakness. SMCI, we're out. Wow, Greg, I got us out of SMCI $20 ago. That thing's rallying crazy. What symbol? SMCI that we were short. So we made over $53 on it. So, you know, $1,000 stock, but still over 5% return. That's nice. IYZ is in the ETF letter, new low, nice. I'll set a new little. Alarm lower twenty fifty. And we have a put spread, but it's actually holding well. An apple. Let's see what the midpoint is, 72. It's 14. Q said the best rally. Diamonds weakness. Alex Trading Systems. Tesla call spread five wide, 180, yeah, for Friday. All right, come on, man.
Yeah, Alex, that's it. All right, whiskey here. I'm just not doing it. Um, we got to get out on the bounce, but that's an ugly gap. <laughs> 